Finally crawling his way back home Finally stop being a kid Anyone is if anyone remembers his name Cause it's been such a long time City won't miss him, it's too big to care Left all the lines and a good time to share And it's been such a long time Been on a health mission today, uh, been to Beanies, the, it's up uh, Walkley, Crooks, uh, anybody in Sheffield will know it. And basically that's your organic fruit and veg stuff. So we got these beetroot, which to be honest, it's far too much beetroot for me to cope with. But we've got fresh beetroot, which is really good for you. Uh, I've got a pepper, a uh, sweet pepper. And I did get, look at, oh my God, these... Tomatoes, they're absolutely beautiful and they were it were full but they fell off in car. All that cost me like one pound ninety odd. Now you go to your local supermarket, they take it mick. And and we also went to like this uh, Asian place up uh, up uh, Abbeydale Road near the picture place, right? We got some uh well, let's have a look, you can you can do this Jordy if you want. Right. So we actually got some fresh garlic, we got some more fresh ginger, we got some fresh turmeric, because fresh turmeric is better than dried grated stuff. And we also got a lemon and a lime, and then we got a couple of chilies to spice things up, they're proper hot then. And we got, um, I can't remember what that is, I can't remember if it's a papaya or a pawpaw. A guava. A guava, I got a guava. So for all that little pile there, fresh stuff, just that little pile, £2.86. You know it makes sense. I've also got some beetroot and apple bread. Now I know you're going to be asking where this is from, co-op, yeah? Other stores are available. So what I'm doing with this, you've got your magic stuff, you've got your uh, you've got your ginger, your garlic and your turmeric. So apparently that's the magic triangle um, for this. So uh, yeah, it's your, your trinity. So. The turmeric's actually turned my fingers yellow, which ain't right good, but it's a word of warning. We've put in some fresh black ground pepper in as well. Now that is to activate the turmeric and also, we put in, uh, blob that in. With this, we're going to add a bit of special oil. Not a thing. It's not looking very good on juicing things, so we've gone for another thing from under the cupboard. Do you want to try and press that, Jodie? Not actually turned out like I thought, but that has got all the stuff in. That's going to help. All we're doing is preparing my body for chemo and there's nothing in there that's going to harm me. We've done research, we've spoke to people now. That, that is like a salad dressing, yeah? I'm going to, but I'm going to have a little drink as well. So, it smells quite good. You can smell the, definitely lemon. Uh, you can smell oil. Uh, let's have a go, and bear in mind it's got the chilies in. Very vinegary, very. That's got a kick to it, that, I'm telling you. Ooh. That is lovely. That is absolutely lovely. So we're sticking with that at the moment for my salad. That's my salad dressing. That's Freddy's dressing. I bet you'd never see Freddy dressing before. <laughs> <laughs> some chopped fresh beetroot, and they won't get much fresher than that. Put some of them gorgeous fresh tomatoes in. I'm adding chopped apple to this because I can. Uh, and on that, uh, I'm just adding a tiny bit of lemon oil basically stops your apple going brown I'm just about to chop up this sweet pepper so that's it that's my salad um i i suppose you can have as much of this as you can handle really so the thing i'm interested in first is beetroot wow Marie's going to be pink and we've also got that um um beetroot and apple bread your beetroot tastes a bit earthy actually, but we're fine. And then we've got the um, 
the, the sort of dressing stuff on it. So, yeah, I've got spread on that bread as well because I can, because I'm healthy with this. That is good. That, that's good. And I like that kick what chilli's giving as well. Nothing in there that's going to kill me. So, yep, I'm there. Thank you. Uh, the dressing, the, there is room for improvement there, but I got everything in that I needed. You believe this? I'm like, uh, I just got a phone call. It's Sunday day at Sheffield Derby, Wednesday United. Um, I've just got a phone call. It's all sold out. I've got a ticket. Mike Gabbertus, thank you. I'm like, oh, fucking hell. Oops, sorry, I don't mean... To, oh, um, oh, God. It was good enough last night when I, went, when I met up with Chris McMahon and, and Paul Pierce and that, you know, friends from Treebeard. Um, and then I went down to Harlequin and uh, got up with Blaze. <laughs> After football, get in! We're going to see the Sheffield Steelers. Oh my God, this is too much excitement for a ginger lad. <laughs> Today, I'm so ecstatic. And I'm Terry Curran. Sheffield United 4, Sheffield Wednesday 2. Very good day, Sheffield Steelers, all family there, and Sarah there and all, that's bobbing, that's very good that. Right, it's Tuesday at 26 today, I've had a bad night, pain wise, uh, didn't have any painkillers, been up and uh, mugged mother-in-law today for some. Um, it, it would be really easy today to, to do nothing, but you know what, we're going out, Um Got something arranged with Team Brook again. Uh, it's not fishing this time, it's ghost hunting. And that, oh God, the great guys, and it's just going to be good. We're up here with Team Brook, 30 East Drive Pontefract. Uh, reputed to be like one of Britain's most haunted houses, or it's, it's up there anyway. I'm going upstairs, nobody's up here. So I'm going up on my own. This is not terrifying, it's not scary. Although I'm walking into this room now and I don't like this room. There's no bangs or anything. The fuck's happened there? I've just looked back at camera and it's dark. Come on, what kind? Have we got an entity in here? What kind of, you know, we just do something? If you exist. <laughs> Fucking hell. Whoa, um. Oh God. Come on to this today. Um, this is the chemo day. I've not opened it yet. I just know. This is. Uh, oh God. Wow. Fourth at tenth. Next month. Twenty six now. It's a couple of weeks. Ten days. 
10 days. 10, 11 days. That's to fit the um, pick line. So I presume this is uh, 10 days. This is a really big thing for me opening this. I know where it was straight away. And this will be key mod thing. I've already got one of them. Oh my god. No, 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 no. 6th of October. I've seen a bat outside. Good. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's just, um, it's real, isn't it? Yeah. 